This is the Catherine McKenna you're used to seeing. Canada's Liberal Minister of the Environment striking one of her typical climate change Barbie poses. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's token female ca cabinet minister, who, when she's not mounting a bike, say, in high heels, is typically caught on camera attending fancy international summits where she and her like-minded climate cultists plot ways to drain our pocketbooks through, say, a countrywide carbon tax on literally everything. But to be sure, climate change Barbie's eco-friendly image is a national priority. That's why she absolutely had to spend over 17,000 taxpayer dollars to hire fancy French photographers to take these candid shots. Pictures that could have otherwise been caught on a, I don't know, say a staffer's cell phone? Photos on bikes. Photos at climate conferences. That's the sort of look every climate change Barbie wannabe should aspire to. But what about photos of our environment minister in, say, a gas-guzzling Mercedes-Benz or a Porsche? Yeah, that sort of a picture could taint the pristine image of the PM's very own carbon tax cheerleader. Uh, I guess that's why we don't see photos like that, even if it is the truth. You see, while our Ministry of the Environment lectures everyday Canadians to get out of their cars and pay a price on carbon, well, they have been using our money to buy themselves fancy, luxury, gas-guzzling automobiles. So the federal conservatives just received an answer to their order paper, which asked government departments to detail how many vehicles they purchased, broken down by brand name. And this is what they found out. Catherine McKenna is not enforcing a bikes are better transport plan when it comes to her own ministry, yeah, far from that. Actually, behind the scenes, Minister McKenna has actually been signing off on Porsches, Mercedes-Benz, and Lexus cars for her own department's use. McKenna signed off on not one, but two luxury Porsche vehicles. But hey, don't worry, they were used cars, so one only cost us $67,000, and the other one was a mere $63,000. And the Lexus McKenna signed off on, it just came in shy of $67,000 as well. But take a look at some of the other vehicles climate change Barbie brought into her department thanks to the public purse. A Mercedes-Benz for $92,000. And finally, the crown jewel in the Ministry of the Environment's garage, courtesy of you and me, the taxpayer. A brand spanking new Tesla for a cool 112,000 buckaroos. And McKenna's not the only one signing off on luxury vehicles for her staff. Several other liberal parliamentarians are doing the exact same thing. Just look at Mark Garneau, who signed off on a brand new BMW and a Mercedes. Oh, but don't worry, folks. This wasn't about greasing the taxpayer for luxury cars. Garneau and his staff basically risked their lives for us. The reason why Garneau signed off on all those fancy vehicles was for the sake of supporting environmental and safety testing. They were testing the cars to ensure that those fancy companies' claims about their cars are indeed the truth. Really, Mark? Testing? How dumb do you think the Canadian people really are? Because the truth is, we're not so dumb as to miss the glaring hypocrisy on every page of this report. And the truth is, most of us taxpayers cannot afford luxury cars worth upwards of six figures for ourselves. So just where in the heck does Canada's Liberal Party get off plundering from the public purse to buy themselves fancy cars on our dime? Hey, climate change Barbie, here's a tip. The next time you think of getting a Porsche or a Tesla, why don't you take your own advice and ride a bike instead? For the Rebel Media, I'm Faith Goldie. Like what you just saw? Well, we deal with a lot of stories that cover how the government misuses our hard-earned cash. Click below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.